sometimes after frequency separation you notice that there will be some areas with a lot of textures and some areas with less or no textures in this video we are going to be looking at how we can fill up those areas with that texture in adobe photoshop this is twisted creative valerie ben Manon is my name if it's your first time on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just hitting that subscribe button also ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video without wasting much time let's get into it this is the model we are going to be using let's just zoom in and see how the image looks let's see like this area if you take if you take a look at this area you notice that there's no texture here there's no texture here there's no texture here and here also there's no texture there's no way we can bring this texture apart from what we are going to be doing now we don't have textures around here we don't have those textures around here so that is what we are going to be doing now we're going to be starting the frequency separation but this is not a frequency separation tutorial we are going to be fast on the frequency separation because we have other tutorial here that you can watch for frequency separation okay we are going to duplicate this image by using our control j twice to get extra two copies then we are going to rename this as details then this other one we are going to rename this to color so we are going to disable this detail layer then select this color layer then go to filter blur then gaussian blur we are going to move this blur radius slider forward until we see no details on the image so this is 6.6 .6 and it's okay let's hit okay for this we we'll select the detail layer then enable the detail layer then go to image apply image we are going to select color here because we are subtracting the color from the details for the channels rgb is okay then blending we have to choose subtract subtract then the opacity should be at 100 then scaling the scale to offset 128 then hit okay then this is how it's going to look like then you go to blend mode and choose linear light then you notice that the image is just like the exact image we are using there's no change so we are going to start by disabling this again then select the color layer then go to our misa brush select click on right click on the brush and choose misa brush tool then you can zoom in and start painting so you have to be missing like this like this from from left to right depend on you but don't draw a long stroke don't draw a don't draw a long stroke just stay within within any color you are mixing so this is in between this is in between the highlight and the mid tone that's what i'm mixing now then this is the highlight so i have to mix them separately here's the mid tone This is the shadow area. Select the detail layer, go to our patch tool, go to our patch tool, then we can go to where we have the blemishes and remove them. Just select it and take it to a better spot or nearby. So 
Now, as you can see, we are done with the frequency separation. Let's see the before and after. Let me hold down my alt and disable this. This is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. Isn't that amazing already? What we are after now is that if you take a look at these areas I showed you guys initially, you can notice that we don't have any texture here. Let's take a look, a closer look. We don't have texture here. We don't have texture here. And there are some other areas we don't have texture. Okay, we are going to be filling all these areas with textures that is going to make it look close to natural or look natural. We have to create a group, select the detail layer, then select the color layer, use your control G to place them in a group. So this is before and this is after. With this group selected, you can click on this plus mark to add empty layer on top. Then you are going to go to edit fill. Then you are going to be taking 50% gray. Okay, mode at normal, then opacity as 100, then hit OK. So you can right click here to convert to smart object. Go to filter, filter gallery. So you notice we have a lot of filters here, but we are going to be clicking on this texture, open this texture, and we'll see texturizer here. Then for the texturizer here, the texturizer is here already out of the filters. Then the texture, we are going to choose sandstone. So you can see this texture now, like these tones, this, this texture is going to be representing our skin texture. Then if you scale up, if you scale up, depending on your image, it's close to what we are going to be using. I think, I think this should be okay for the, because it's a strong portrait. Then let's say 109 or let's say 112 should be okay. Then for the relief. You can take from let's take it down as you can see it's very very smooth now the more you take it up gradually the stronger it will become then let's see how it's going to look at let's take 10 or 11. okay let's say 12. for the light direction i have to choose light direction for for this image the light is coming from the top right so we have to choose top right here for the light direction you don't have to invert then you hit ok so this is it it's covering the image so we have to go to blend mode and choose overlay look at what we have here let's rename this to texture you have to select the texture layer then you go to filter then blur then down to gaussian blur gaussian blur as you are choosing your blur radius, you have to be looking at those areas that does not have textures. So as it's not going to look too odd. So we're going to take it 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. It's getting too blur. Let's say 0 0.9, 0 0.8. And I think 0 0.6 is okay. Let's zoom in and see. 0 0.6 is okay. Then hit okay. So we are going to click on this layer mask provided here. Then use our control I to invert the layer mask. You notice that there's nothing on the image anymore. Then we can go to our brush tool. We have to right click here and choose main brush tool. Then we can reduce uh, the size of the brush. Your opacity can be at 100, can be at 90, depending on you. Then you go to those areas that has no texture and you can start clicking on them. So let the opacity be 40% or there about, let's say 40 here. Yeah? Then flow should be 40 also. Then we have to click on those areas that has no texture. You can click multiple times as it appears. As you, the more you click, the more it appears on your image.
Let's reduce opacity and flow. I know you'll be thinking that it's too much. Okay. You can also paint on the skin area. Taking a look at the image now, you notice that the area that does not have textures has been filled up with textures. So let's go in there and see if it's matching. So like as you can see, the area we filled is like the stuff is too much. We have to go to the opacity and reduce the opacity. So if you take a look at these areas now, we have the textures here now. Let's see the before and after. Let's see the before and after the texture. This is before and this is after this is before and this is after so we can see go ahead and reduce the opacity and to like 50 percent let's see how 50 percent is going to look so look at it so this is this is it let's see before and after let's see the before and after this is before and this is after you have to focus on the areas that does not have textures which are these areas so let's see the before and after this is before and this is after this is before this is after isn't that amazing so we have some extra tips we can further ahead whiten the teeth whiten the eyes and make the image look better than what we are seeing now so let's go for let's whiten the eyes and teeth let's go to let's go to adjustment layer and choose hue and saturation we are going to click on the master and choose yellow so we are going to reduce the saturation to like minus 80 thereabouts. Let's say minus 80. Okay, let's say minus 80. Then the lightness should be, let's see, like 30 or 35. Let's say 30 should be okay. Then you go, you click on the yellow again and choose red. Then you have to reduce the saturation to like 80, minus 80. Then increase the lightness to like let's say 20 is okay we can close up this then select the layer marks use our control i to invert the layer marks then pick our brush to then we can go in there and paint in the white eyes for the other eyes Okay, let's go to the teeth.
click on the adjustment layer icon then choose curves then pull the highlights up and double click on the layer then to bring out the layer style boss then drag the underlying layer slider forward to get those areas that are shining selected then we can we can hold down our alt and click this angle to split it apart then we can separate it to create a smoother transition then i think we are okay here then can hit okay then select this select the layer marks use your ctrl i to invert the layer marks then select your brush make sure you are at 100 percent flow 100 percent opacity and click on those shiny area We have to enhance the lip separately. Go to adjustment layer and choose curves again. Then pull up the highlights also. Then we double click on the layer to bring out the layer style boss. Move the underlying layer slider up to select the lip area that is shining. Then you can hold your alt to split the angle apart to create smoother transition and hit OK. Select the layer marks and use your Ctrl I to invert layer marks. Then selectively paint on the lips to shine it up so we're taking a look at the image now it's looking great it's looking great already then if you want to enhance the color you can enhance the colors and i think we are done for this image let's see the before and after let's hold our alt and click on this this is before and this is after this is before and this is after Take a look at textures around those areas that does not have textures let's see this is before and this is after this is before and this is after isn't that amazing easy isn't it that is it for this video if you find it interesting helpful and useful let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has up the area it has not and the area we need to improve on like i said earlier if you are new on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative people, keep on creating. Please keep on creating. Stay creative. See you in the next one. Bye for now.